So how could you begin to find out what the sun's made of? I mean, you can't go there. It's a long way away, and it'd be a bit hot when you arrived. Well, actually, the story began back in the 1660s with the British physicist Isaac Newton. He used one of these, a prism, to look at the light from the sun. What Newton found is that if you look at light through a prism, then it splits up into its component colours. It makes a rainbow. Now, at the time, Newton didn't appreciate the full significance of this discovery, or at least the usefulness of it. Through the 18th and 19th centuries, chemists and physicists looked at the light in real detail. And what they noticed was that the spectrum isn't continuous. It has pieces missing. It has black lines through it. This was a puzzle. Why was some of the sun's light missing? The answer is beautifully simple. Each chemical element in the sun absorbs light to produce its own unique pattern of black lines known as absorption lines in the solar spectrum, a kind of fingerprint for every element in the universe. That leaves you with an interesting possibility. If you look at the light from the sun and you look where the black lines are, then you can deduce exactly what elements are present in the sun. And today, from many precision observations of the light from the sun using just this technique, we know that the sun is 75% hydrogen, 24% helium, and about 1% the heavier elements that make up the universe. Scientists had discovered what the sun and stars were made of. But they were no closer to figuring out how something made of the two lightest elements in the universe, hydrogen and helium, could emit such vast quantities of energy. Progress came with the discovery of one of the most famous equations in science. Now, it took until 1905 and Einstein for the, for the key to the sun's energy source to be revealed. The equation E equals mc squared, energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. The speed of light squared, immense number. It's got 16 noughts after it. This huge number means that only a small amount of mass contains vast amounts of energy. Einstein had uncovered a remarkable facet of nature. Mass is just an incredibly condensed form of energy. Imagine I took a dollar bill, uh, that's about a gram, and converted that into pure energy. That is the mass loss in a hydrogen bomb. So there's one hydrogen bomb's worth of energy in every dollar bill.